Hey, I'm Nick Delgado here with another round of At The Bar. We're over at Drop in Tumon with Jun. How you doing, Jun? Hi, guys. All right. right. So what's the first thing that we're mixing up here today? So we're going to go with a classic, but it's my local twist on a classic, and it's our pickled papaya martini. You can get that here at Drop. Ooh. All right. Let's mix it up. All right. So we're going to do a full shot of Stoli vodka. And here we're doing two ounces. And then we're going to add the pickled papaya brine. How, how much of that? We're going to do half an ounce. Just a little bit of rum. And I would say maybe a quarter, quarter. ounce. Okay, and just to add a little bit of brightness, some lemon rind that I'm gonna grate on top. You don't wanna go too deep because you're gonna get some pith in there and that's gonna make it very bitter. Okay? Okay. All you have to do is add ice and shake it. Okay. And then before we serve it, we garnish it with some pickled pie. Of course. And there you go. That's it? Yeah, surely pickled okay. pie and martini. There you go. Let's try it out. Mmm, very refreshing. Yeah. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. All right, Jen, so this next one we're about to mix up here, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spice. Yes, and uh, one of our popular uh, cocktails here at The Drop, uh, it's our strawberry jalapeno mojito, we're famous for it, uh, with Stoli strawberry. Okay, let's make it happen. Okay, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna assemble our cocktail, we're gonna build it, and we're gonna put all the classic ingredients of the mojito. I'm gonna start with lime. I take half a lime, and then I quarter it, and then I just go straight, squeeze the juice into the glass and add the limes as well, okay? And then I'm gonna add some jalapenos, okay? And then we're gonna add jam. Go ahead and get a good tablespoon of strawberry jam. And just a little bit of sugar syrup just to add more sweetness. And then the mint. So before we add the mint, we take about uh, two sprigs of the loose mint leaves, cup it, slap it just to get the oils out. And oh, then really smell that when you just Yeah, that. when you do that, yes, correct. <laughs> okay. And then we muddle all everything together. My job here. So you just wanna combine all the ingredients. You don't wanna bruise the mint. You just want everything to blend together in the glass. Does that look about right? Yeah, that does. It's good and incorporated. And then final, you're gonna add an ounce and a half of the Stoli strawberry. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna stir all the items together, combine them in, add ice. And you wanna cup it full of the ice, give it more of a syrup. And then finally, we're gonna add a little bit of club soda to keep it refreshing. And then before we serve it, the garnish. Garnish, correct. A mint sprig, a lime wedge, pretty much all the ingredients in it. Some strawberries. Mm -hmm. And the final ingredient. That little bit of spice. A jalapeno. And that is the Stoli Strawberry Jalapeno Mojito here at Cook. Cool. And that's a mouthful. Let's try it out. Go for it. Wow, very good. Good? Easy to consume. Nice. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. All right, Joe, and I think we should tell our viewers out there to pucker up for this next one because we got... We have the lemon apple sour, again, available here at Drop, and this time we're using Stoli Citrus. Okay. Okay, so First we're gonna thing. do a classic sour. Classic sour, at least here, includes the egg white. What it does is it uh, gives it a good mouthfeel and it combines the sweetness and the sour ingredients together. Okay. And I'll have you do the honors. What you do is you're gonna crack the egg and you wanna separate the egg yolk and the egg whites, and you wanna just keep the egg Whites in the cocktail, the egg yolk we throw away. Okay. There you go. Good. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I have honey as a sweetener, and then I already pre-squeezed lemon juice, and we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna add some apple juice. That's gonna be an ounce of apple juice. And an ounce and a half of the sterling citrus. 
And we're gonna give this a good dry shake. A dry shake is when you combine all the ingredients without ice, and you wanna get as much of that egg white combined. And you said there are substitutes when it comes to, to using these Yes, yeah, so for those who don't do um, eggs, you can do a vegan substitute, and that is using um, garbanzo bean water. You can just buy the canned gar can garbanzo beans, and then just take the liquid from the can. And that's a great frothy substitute for using egg whites. Because that's what we're going for, right? With the egg whites, the consistency along with the flavor. Right, yes, and it's just the mouthfeel. It just tastes so much softer going in. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add some ice. And then we're gonna do the actual shake. I'll give you the honor. Yes, thank you. And we're gonna double strain it. We have a Hawthorne strainer here, and then a mesh strainer here. Okay. And we're gonna pour it into the coupe glass. And again, you just want that froth on top so when you sip it, it just, it just goes so well. <laughs> right. And before serving, I'm gonna add a little bit of Angostura bitters just to complement the sour. And then I'm gonna add on top of that a dehydrated apple slice. And then Nick. And that's it? That is? Yes. Let's try it out. Exactly Spoon. how you mentioned, yes. Yeah. And the broth and everything all together, the ingredients. Very delicious. Jun, thank you so much for joining us for this round of At The Bar. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You can check them out here and the rest of the bartenders over at Drop In Tumon. We'll see you next time.